I just can't be sure. Thank you. This way, please. Okay. Thank you, everyone. See? I told you I ain't done it. Careful, lad. You're still under caution. What have I got to worry about? I ain't done anything, have I? I'm sorry, Mr. Burnside. It all happened so fast. I just can't be sure. Never mind. Thanks for coming in anyway. Will you show Mrs. Seabrook out, please, Norika? This way, please. Go. Go on. Father. Well, he taught you well. Okay then, Jess, spill the beans. What's up? It's about your placement, Ricky Blackwell. Trouble? I want him off the project. He's wasting all our time. Sign me for your property, please. This our snatcher, is it? Oh, I'm innocent, all right. So I come here to arrest you to get you in here. Because <laughs> I've got better things to do, ain't I? Come on, son. Too easy for him. They push someone we know, they grab a bag and run. Now we're supposed to get the evidence. The real problem's Pliny Road Market, sir. It's heaven on earth for snatchers. We need a full-scale operation. Clean it out. I've asked Uniform to come in on it. But I don't have to tell you the kind of response I got there. Well, right now, I'm not interested in the big plans, Frank. I just want to show them that we're still here. All right. Alistair, grab who you can and go and have a look at Pliny Road. Yeah, you can't cover that market with less than seven or eight, Gov. Tell you what you can get. I want him to know who runs this ground. He's bunked off three separate days now, and after each time, he's got the riot act. It's watered off a duck's back. Ricky begged me for a place on this scheme. And yesterday, he let his mates in there. He knows that's right against the rules. Look, you saw him when he came back from doing this stretch. He was scared. Jane, I was in Yaks ten years, and rule one. These kids do their time, get back on the street, and a week later, it's like it's never happened. If Ricky gets done again, he won't even get through remand. He needs a boot up the backside from the real world, that's all. I have put serious time and effort in on Ricky. I'm not going to throw it all away now. Where is he? Well, after yesterday, I told him not to come back. You can't do that. Not without consultation. I know. Well, I should have spoken to you. But we have to coordinate on this, Jeff. I want one more try. I'll talk to Ricky, OK? <laughs> Sarge. Right, okay. Sarge. Yeah, I'll cheers. Now, these kids work a chain. One of them will do the snatch, get the gear out, and then ditch the bag. He'll pass the gear along to one of his mates, and they'll keep passing it one to the other, getting it as far away as they can, as fast as they can. Good for you, Tosh. Sarge. You people don't ask for much, do you? What do you mean? They gave you at least half an hour. Do you know how many people are arrested for theft from persons on this patch every year? Well, we don't, but somehow I get the feeling you're going to tell us, Donna. You don't deserve me, you know. Right, let's see who you've got. On top's your friend Terence Graves. He hangs out with the next lot. Colton Barnes, Jimmy Wallace, and then there's Ricky Blackwell. We did Blackwell, didn't we? Yeah, three months in Highwood's Young Offenders Institution. He's been out a few weeks now. Ready and eager for more. Come on, Ricky, I'll give you a lift down there. Uh, Jeff told me not to come back. I'll square it with him. Your place is still open. I mean, what's the point? Every time I step out of my door, I've got the filth stopping searching me. You've got form. That's not our fault. But I'm going straight. You've got to prove it first, Ricky. They stopped me on the way to the project last week, turned my pockets out. After that, I couldn't be bothered. You bunked off three times. You said you'd stick with the project, whatever. You didn't tell me I'd still have copies hassling me. Oi! Oi! Get off that car now! Chill out. I was only looking. Like hell. It's a great motor. You better tell she's a copper. I thought you chucked in that project. Yeah, well, you know. They're using you. You're slave labour. Come on, Ricky, this is getting you nowhere. Hey, we'll help him, all right. It's his mates he needs, not do-gooders and not coppers. What's your name, son? What's my name? What's my name? It's Gary Lineker. Come on, Ricky, we're going to chill out. Yeah, come on, mate. I can't, not right now. 
Ricky, get real, man. I'll catch you guys later. Now, Ricky! I'll meet you down at the three wheels in an hour. Absolute final last chance. I'll be there. Come on! Yeah, I'll count them in, I'll count them out. We'll keep out of sight. You let us know if you see a chain coming together. Yeah. Which way out they're going to take? I'll be on that bridge, Tush. And what about the alleyways? No, we'll cover as much as we can. The DCI wants activity, Tush. Jim will be at the south end, Alan will do the north. All units in position. Yes, Sarge? Anything, Alan? Nothing. Jim? Nothing. OK, keep looking. Four of us can't cover this. Yeah, just keep looking. I'll swap with you at lunchtime, Tosh. Well, it's going to take that long. Busy day, Jane. Had to stop in at the Free Wheels project. Jeff Gunn phoned last thing yesterday. Oh, don't tell me. Kid not sticking to the course. Ricky Blackwell. I'll give him a talking to. Yeah, well, if Jeff can't straighten him out, I should forget about him if I were you. It's got to be worth the effort to keep him motivated, sir. I mean, look at the alternative. Arrests, courts, prisons. What does that do to the budget? <laughs> it's not my budget. But with the project, we might stop a few kids reoffending, sir. As long as the rest of your work doesn't get neglected, Jay. This is my work, sir. One icy, one male, one icy, three male. Coming your way, Sarge. Got him. Coming south to the cash machine. Looks like a couple of our friends. Cover, please, Alan. I'm doing it, Sarge. Donna. Does this villain ring a bell? Name of Tez, street theft speciality. Known associate of Richard Dean Blackwell. Him, you mean? What's he doing up there? And Ricky Blackwell. CID decided to go out and watch a few handbag snatchers. Today? Hmm, even as we speak. Oh, that's all I need. I see one female towards bank machine, Tosh. Yeah, got her, Sarge. They're going after her. Jim, they're coming up your end. Right, Sarge. Hi. Jim, wait until they move in on her. We don't want to put them off now. 38 to pay. Got See the fire in cover now. Here's us. Sir, can I have a word about your street crime initiative? You've got two minutes. You're targeting one of my lads. Right now, it is knife edge whether he stays out of trouble. Name? Ricky Blackwell. If you come on too heavy with him, he's going to do something stupid. Then I'll nick him. He's a scrote anyway. Look, he came back from young offenders changed. He wants out. You're going to have me crying in a minute. Look, just leave him alone for a week and he'll be settled back on a project. I'm not ignoring a kid with form like his. Is that what you want? If you see him doing something, fine. Let's just not hassle this one if he hasn't done anything. It'll pay off long term. I'm going to do my best to put him back inside. I don't want him on my ground. You don't think they've made us, do you? 
They just look a bit too cocky, don't you think? Just get on with it. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's only 20 minutes late, that's punctual for a teenager. You can't expect to change them overnight, Jeff. Well, how many chances do you give them? Well, he's got CID on one side, his old gang on the other, he needs a hand. I bet you a fight, but he's sitting at home watching Sesame Street. Couldn't give a damn. We've got another ten minutes and then I reconsider. OK. A tenor says he doesn't show. You're on. Just what are they waiting for, Sarge? Sarge, can you see the rest of the team? Yes, Greg, from Sierra Oscar, receiving. Hold on, Sarge. Come in, Sierra Oscar. DC Lions here. DS Greg's not on store now. Thought you'd want to know, Tosh. Just had a report of a handbag snatch. North end of Pliny Road Market. Are you anywhere near? Yes, very near. But we're looking the other way. Two youths seem running away. Do you want to deal? Will do. Thanks, Polly. Sarge, they've snatched an handbag down at the north end. We've been done. Thanks, Tosh. We're coming back for you. You okay there, Arthur? Yeah, thanks, Sarge. Yeah. If they just asked, I'd have given them the money. Just you take it easy. The ambulance men are here now, and they'll look after you. Cheers, mate. Two youths, one red and white jacket, that's all she saw. They'll be long gone by now. What about Colin Jimmy? What are we going to arrest them for? Window shopping? Put the heat on, eh? Well, they're doing us for harassment next. Sarge, yeah, something's happening here. Yes, Tosh. One of our decoys is back on Pliny Road. He's talking to someone in a red and white jacket. We're on our way. Alan, you stay here. Barnes is probably carrying something now. He's passed it to someone else. The gear's passing to leather jacket. Go team. Tosh, which way did he go? I don't know one, Tosh. Look at all this. DC Carver, son of CID. You've been seen and in stolen goods. Search him, Jim. I ain't done nothing. What's your name, son? It's Ricky Blackwell. Tosh, did you see him dump anything? Nothing. Nor me. Sergeant Kendall. What about her? I'm on my way to see her, that's all. Richard Blackwell, I'm arresting you for theft. You're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. Do you understand the caution? This is crazy. Me and Jane, we got an appointment. Straight up. What will they think of next? Come on. What's going on then, Jim? We're searching the premises of another criminal. Is Ricky under arrest or what? Oh, yeah. Handbags snatched down Pliny Road Market this morning. I think you owe me a tenner, Jane. We'll see. OK, what's the story? Don't tell me he was really on his way to see you. 12 o'clock at Three Wheels. What's happened? He's under arrest for theft. Brilliant. If you believed them every time they said they were going straight... You have to give them a chance to try. The last thing he needs is CID hassling him night and day. We were only looking for stolen property, Jim. Come on. Well, you've turned up and all that. I knew nothing about this when I spoke to you earlier. Well, what's the point of staying out of trouble if this is what I get all the time? If you don't want this, Ricky, stop mugging people. I ain't mugged nobody. Ricky. You were on your way to Three Wheels? Yeah, like she said. Funny route to take, isn't it? Now, you live here. Three Wheels is here. But Plenty Road Market is here. Yeah, I've been to see some mates. Names? I don't have to tell him anything, do I? You don't have to say anything, Ricky. But I'm trying to be helpful, ain't I? Because I ain't done nothing. What time was your appointment with Sergeant Kendall? Twelve. So what were you doing strolling down Pliny Road at 12.30? I was on my way, like I said. 
You're going to be pretty late, weren't you? I don't know, I ain't got a watch. What's that then, Ricky? A birthmark? Take it off, please. Do you have that list of property stolen from this morning? They haven't found anything on him, have they? Seems to me he only got arrested because he ran. I understand you're disappointed, but you can't be surprised. No, I'm not, but I have worked on this kid. On the job and out of hours, I thought he was worth it. Oh, come on, Jane. You know what these kids are like. Do you really think this one's going straight? He was definitely trying to stay out of trouble. That spell inside changed him. OK, just this once, I'll stick my neck out for you. Come on. One watch with gold face and black leather strap. Should have chucked this as well, Ricky. Too greedy. I want a brief. As you like. Take him back to the detention room, please, Jim. Who's going to break it to Sergeant Kendall, then? Now, we all want community liaison to work, don't we? So give us a bit of room to operate. Oh, come on, Derek. What do you want? A signed confession? The lad's guilty. What you mean is that an obo of yours showed out and you're taking it out on the nearest kid with four. Uh, excuse me, sir. Thought you'd like to know. Hello, Jane. That kid we brought in for theft? Yeah. Just found this on him. Stolen from a woman this morning. He was wearing it, would you believe? Is he admitting it? Uh, no, he's clammed up. Wants a solicitor now. Can I have a word with him? Be my guest. I'd like a word first, please, Sergeant. Oh, I am sorry, sir, but there is still a way that we can turn this to both our advantages. Yeah, look, don't you reckon it's about time you let this one drop, Jane? No way! This is just the opening I needed. This could put the seal on it. Give me half an hour. I told them I want a brief. He's on his way. Meantime, I want to talk to you. No tape. Your probation officer's here, and we don't discuss the case. So what are we going to talk about? Arsenal's new signing? I thought we'd talk about my new signing. Who's that, then? You, Ricky. I am disappointed in you, Ricky. I spoke to you this morning, and you seemed to want to keep out of trouble. I believed you. I've been fitted up. You've let me down badly. And you've let yourself down. You asked us to trust you and help you. I mean, OK, but I can also see that it's difficult to tell your mates to get lost. I don't blame you for hanging out with them. Well, they're my mates. I've got to stick with them. Of course you do. Um, I've got to do what they do. I know. Like, it's difficult when you haven't got any money. Yeah. I'm sorry I let you down. So maybe now we can start again? Yeah, I want to. Right. Square one. If you don't start changing now, you have had it. What? If you don't break away now, you're going to spend most of your life in prison. Don't be stupid. Stop now. Or you don't stand a chance, Ricky. Got yourself a bit of a fire brand there, Derek. That's what community liaison needs, a bit of commitment. Don't mind a commitment as long as it's channeled. She's taking the long-term view, Jack. Getting to know what the kids are really like. OK, so she got it wrong this time. Well, from what you tell me, she's still getting it wrong. She's down there now going at it. I was just hanging out with Tez and the others when suddenly Cole comes up and said I had to hold the gear. I, mean, I didn't know we was doing anything like that. That's all right. I can't talk about it, Ricky. But aren't you going to help me? I, I can't do another stretch in that place. Only you can help yourself now. I'm not grassing my mates. It seems to me, Ricky, that as long as you hang out with Tez, you're going to keep getting into trouble. I can't grasp my mates. You can if they're screwing up your life. Think about it, Ricky. I'll get Sergeant Greg. Slapped his wrists, have you? I think Ricky would like a word with you now. Is there an interview room for you? Uh, yeah, through there. You don't want to wait for your brief? No. Might as well get it over with. Are you sure, Ricky? I want it over. But I want to make a deal, though. You know I can't make deals, Ricky. I don't want to go back inside. You know that if you tell us something and we make arrests, I'll write to the judge. It usually makes the difference between prison and probation. Interview between Richards Dean Blackwell, accompanied by his probation officer, and D.S. Gregg and D.C. Carver, Sunhill, 2.20 p.m. Now, Ricky, tell me about you and Tez and the gang. 
Well, what do you want to know? Everything. He's got a lock-up somewhere where he keeps the gear, near his place. And he said he was going there this afternoon. And that's all I know, honest. What's happening, Tosh? Nothing yet. You still checking? Hey, as soon as you know which one it is. Yeah, got it. It won't be long now. Right. Here we go. It must be Christmas. Checkbooks, wallets, credit cards. Take your pick. You agree to be bailed to return to this police station on Tuesday the 1st at 3 p.m. unless you are informed to the contrary. Yeah. Sign here. You got bailed then? And here for your property. Grassed us up, didn't you? Come on, Ricky. I'll see you out this way. Ricky! You grassed us up, didn't you? Oi! You're history, Blackwell! Come on. You all right, Ricky? Yeah, no problem. Now the hard work really starts, doesn't it? I know. You've got to stay right out of trouble. You keep away from them. Yeah. Good. I'm here if you need any help, OK? OK. That was a close call. I'd say Yaks won CID nil, sir. Mm, only after extra time. We've got to work together, though, Jane. There's no room for loose cannons on my team. Of course not, sir. I'm happy to keep you informed at every stage. I need to be able to rely on my sergeant 100%. I'm 200% behind my CLO, sir. Good. So how are those case papers coming along, then? I was just on my way, sir. 